Well, we have a lot to talk about in our weather today. Some big showers and thunderstorms rolling across parts of the region. You can see some very wet streets as we look along with uh, SPID with our sky cam this morning, getting some reports of some flooding near SPID and Castoris and heaviest rainfall now a little bit further down the road closer to the beach. So be careful as you're heading out there on some of those roadways in the next hour or so. Now we're not the only ones dealing with some wet weather. This is Minnesota. Now they saw heavy showers just a couple of days ago and you can see it's inundating some of those areas. The Cottonwood River rose about 12 feet. Number of uh, homes had to be evacuated and you can see they got those sandbags going. So a lot of the country dealing with this heavy rain. We're looking at 75 degrees right now with the rain coming down out at the airport. Winds are mostly light three miles per hour. That relative humidity is at 100%. Temperatures around the area 75 in Rockport, 73 in Beeville. Alice coming in at 74 degrees. Winds are mostly light this morning. That's going to continue to be the case. We'll see a little bit of a sea breeze this afternoon blowing at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. But as I mentioned yesterday, we had showers to our north, showers to our south, showers often to the inland areas. Just not a whole lot here in the city made for a pretty nice Saturday, especially if you're headed down to the food truck festival. But as far as this morning, heavy rain developed right along the south side. Now that heaviest rainfall over toward the university area here and then out into the island. We saw some pretty good rain across parts of Port Aransas. That seems to be tapering off at this point. But as far as the rainfall totals, you can see two spots of the green and we'll kind of zoom on in. As I mentioned, this is near Yorktown here, picking up about 1.7 inches of rain, about seven tenths of an inch of rain. Uh, uh, near the Staples area over here and we're already already about 1.7 inches of rain a little less over into the downtown area with about a half an inch of rain. I've been talking about this all weekend. We've got a lot of this moisture coming in off the Gulf and it's coming right into Texas. So yesterday and today should be the heaviest rainfall totals as I mentioned are going to be hit and miss not going to be a washout unless you happen to be near one of those storms. Future tracker indicating we could see more of those showers developing with the heating of the afternoon than tomorrow. It looks like it's going to be a little less widespread. As far as the rainfall totals, you can see Nueces County expecting to see some of the heaviest amounts with some areas of up to an inch and a half to two to three inches of rain. And yes, that is occurring this morning. Then it will be just spotty as we move throughout the week ahead. As I mentioned, we do have a new tropical storm. This is Tropical Storm Chris. Yesterday it was a tropical depression number three. It does have winds of about 40 miles per hour, gusting to about 50 miles per hour. We're looking at the Carolinas right here. It's still offshore. Now it's a stationary, so it's really not going to move in the next couple of days. Now Chris is likely to move into a hurricane as we move into Wednesday. The good news for the folks along the eastern seaboard is it looks like it's going to cause some very high surf, but it does not look like it's going to come inland, so not much of an issue with that. Tropical storm barrel. Yesterday it was a hurricane at this time with winds of up to 80 miles per hour. It definitely weakened yesterday and still is a tropical storm. We'll kind of look at the coordinates of it right now. It's got winds of about 45 miles per hour. Some gusts do about 60 miles per hour. The movement is west northwest at 20 miles per hour. This is going to take it right through the Lesser Antilles. Probably very late tonight. It's going to go back into the Caribbean. And as it gets to Puerto Rico, that's the area devastated by the hurricane last year. It looks like it could dump about an inch or two of rain, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a huge issue for them. Here's a look at our forecast for today. Mostly cloudy showers and thunderstorms. Look for a daytime high right around 88 degrees. So we're going to continue to be below average. Then for tonight, cloudy with some showers possible. We'll see an overnight low of 77 degrees. Your seven day forecast is 
brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. Heaviest rainfall today. We're seeing that right here in Corpus Christi this morning. We're still going to have that lingering moisture, so we'll see a chance of isolated showers Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then it looks like it's going to dry out, heat up the latter half of the work week. Looking for very hot and humid conditions with daytime highs right around 92 to 93 degrees. We're